Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Alters. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is the Recon Zaku. Um, the Recon Zaku was the one of the prizes for participating in the last set of ranked matches that happened before the uh, US release. If you're sad you missed those, one, they're kind of stressful, so don't be. But two, uh, there will be a new set coming up in November, according to the developers, so... You will, you will get another chance at this, and it, it's kind of rough, I'll, I'll be honest. But the Recon Zaku, which I think I was uh, discussing yesterday, I like. I Again, it's not, I'm not great with it, and it's not, uh, it's not maybe the best mobile suit, but it's fun. So among, it has a bunch of special abilities. One is that it can use the uh, long-range Zaku machine gun that the Zaku 1 sniper could use which is a weird burst fire machine gun, fires, uh, fires in three round bursts at a very uh, great distance and stuns if all three shots hit, but it's just, it is definitely not better than anything else the Zaku 1 sniper can use. This is a, uh, the, the, for, the, for the recon Zaku it's a little bit better, you're a general so you can, you can kind of counter uh, snipe against raids like the Zuda which is not a terrible outcome. And it's, uh, it's, it can also use machine gun and bazooka, as I recall, so you, you've got other options if you don't like this gun. Um, it also has a chaff grenade. When you hit people with it, it causes jamming, which messes with their radar for a little bit. Um, well, I'm actually landing a fair amount of hits with this weird gun. That's good. And it also has a camera gun, and what the camera gun does is mark an enemy so that they will show up on uh, on everyone's screen. Which is not a bad thing. If there were more uh, stealth-type mobile suits at this cost range, that would be better. Yeah, and that was its a special melee animation, which I am not good at, at determining the range of yet. I am really bad at, at landing that one. But yeah, it's got a bunch of interesting abilities. It's a little fragile. It's not it's not the best mobile suit in the world, but it's it's interesting to use. As you can see, we're kind of in a tough spot to start. We we are down 1300 points and uh, we're spread out, which is maybe not the best news. The enemy's a little bit spread out as well though, and they're all low on health, so if we coordinate a little bit, if we work together, which I'm not really doing, we could probably make something good out of this. As it is, I'm focusing on this person because I can get some good shots in on them without with minimal risk to myself. This is the one advantage of that long-range machine gun, which is killing people at long range. Let's see, I got the assist because that person managed to close with them and finish them off. Uh, there's some people over here that I should be working on, though. A couple of low-cost uh, folks I could hopefully uh, get a do hit it with a chaff grenade. The chaff grenades do do damage. They're, they are not purely uh, for jamming, which is nice because it, it really it would be even lower on uh, offensive uh, uh, options if it were uh, you know a non-damaging grenade. So it's it's a good balance of you know, special abilities and damage instead of just being a sheer novelty, which is about the only thing that keeps it usable, in my opinion. Because, like I said, I like it. It's kind of tough to use. It's not It's not super durable. It's not super, uh, super capable. It just does a bunch of neat stuff and can do some damage. Oh, got that shot. That's not bad. And now I need to watch this guy because he's trying to kill me. Good reason to keep an eye on anybody, really. It does have dodge roll, emergency evasion control level 1, that's important. I hit the marker gun just to, uh, in the hopes of doing something, but I am nearly dead. As you can see, not great defense. I'm probably about to whiff my melee again. No, I did tag it. Good. And did not, it has too long of a wind up to use twice, and now, now I am 100% about to die. Dodge roll to the side. I think I hit my ally, and yeah, just at this point lobbing grenades and trying to get any damage in I can before I'm dead, which is not much, if any. It happens. But yeah, so I got killed by a Jim Knight Seeker. That's an expensive uh, mobile suit that has a novelty ability that rarely gets used, but unlike the Proto Zaku, it just tends to do a little bit better as, you know, as a generic fighter. Uh, the Jim Night Seeker has... Did I say Night Seeker 2? It's the Night Seeker 1. 
Um, the Gym Knight Seeker has a uh, uh, has the ability to be targeted with a friendly airstrike. So if you're coordinating with your allies, you can have a Knight Seeker carry an airstrike to the enemy and just stay in the middle and keep them busy, ideally, until it comes down on their heads. Does not always work out that way. See, I think I... Yeah, I think I went up there to check and see if uh, anybody needed help, but they do not. So at this point... Oh yeah, I remember why I was staying up here. I was actually thinking a little bit. We've captured all the spawn points, so the only place the enemy can, uh, can uh, come from is right here. So if I stay up here, I can hopefully keep them from recovering, uh, recovering checkpoints, keep them pinned down, and, you know, uh, keep, uh, keep that advantage that we've gotten by taking all the waypoints. Unfortunately, nobody else on the team decided uh, to do that, and I didn't send any tells or anything, so I'm basically soloing this one person on, uh, and hoping I can do something. But I'm not soloing them because there's another enemy right here. I think it's a cannon type 2, which is very bad news for me. Yes, it is. So, but I'm close, and I might be able to do more damage close than I can any, uh, uh, otherwise. See, yeah, as we saw, can't fall with melee, so fall with the chaff grenade, and now, while they're invulnerable, the best thing I can do is hang back and uh, get a little distance so that I can get uh, behind cover if I need to, because I have a dodge roll, and it's kind of dangerous to stay in melee range when someone is invulnerable, in my opinion. So, yeah, pulling back, stuck on the pipes, shifted back a little more to get around them. Let's see... Lobbing a grenade, missed, but I've got some shots handy, and I might be able to finish them before the other person finishes me, not sure. There's a, nope, yes, just barely. So, there's now a bomb planted at our base, it may or may not go off, but, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I am, I really should have, uh, hung back with the rest of the team, they are very wisely going after the bomber, that bomb will probably not go off. I'm going to plant an airstrike, because they're all going to be, with a 400 point deficit, they're all going to be advancing on us, so if they do that together, hopefully I can catch a couple of them. I planted on the two that were sticking together, that was my best guess. It's, it's difficult, if not impossible, to predict what a good way to target support fire is. If anybody has their personal guidelines they want to share, go for it. And there's a kill, so that was not a bad thing. And they're coming up, and yeah, I, I finally realized, oh yeah, I'm about to get surrounded if I'm not careful. Time to pull back. Yeah, so the one thing, even though you can't do a lot of damage to supports, the machine gun can let you kind of snipe them a little bit, uh, pin them down, uh, keep them, you know, keep them in check to keep them off the rest of your team, which, not a terrible thing. Again, if there were a Zuda here, I could do great things. But, got hit by, by support fire at the last second, but that round came out pretty well. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, that is the Recon Zaku. It will be available in the Recycle Ticket Shop eventually. That's how all the limited mobile suits have worked so far. They do end up available other ways. So if you started with the North American version and you didn't get a chance to get it, you will get another chance. So that's going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. So until next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I've talked about it in the comments more in the video more than the videos, but Gundam Battle Operation 2 is one of the more civilized free-to-play games. Uh, the developers have promised that eventually everything that's available in the uh, lottery, the uh, supply drop lottery, will become available through other currencies that, that do not involve real-world money. You'll be able to buy things with recycle tickets and eventually DP. The, it, the timetable for that is admittedly a long one. It's taken six months to a year for some things to get to the recycle ticket store. So if you, if there's something you really want now, you may want to you know drop some tokens on it if you can. But if you can afford if you can afford to wait and you can stand to wait, it will get to you eventually.